New York Yankees fans, what is up? Like always, it is Felix from Rebel1News.com. Hola, como estas? Hey, Yankees fans, I am hearing that the Yankees are interested in J.A. Happ. J.A. short for James Anthony. I am hearing that the Yankees and the Mariners are interested in Happ. Happ, hip, hap, hap, hip, hap, 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 hap. Does he have one of those names like Marcus Thames? Marcus Thames? No, I'm just joking. Yankees fans, the Yankees... Or interested in him particularly because he's a left-handed pitcher and the Red Sox have trouble against left-handers this season that is why the Yankees are looking to add a left-handed pitcher to their rotation I for one I like Cole Hamels better because he's a little bit a little bit more younger and he has experience when it comes to the playoffs but AJ Happ is similar to his age and he has had some great years but yeah, I would have traded for him if this was two years ago, but I don't know. The Yankees probably like him. They probably see something that they like, especially the Mariners as well. So if the Mariners and the Yankees are going after Hap, then he might be worth it. But in my opinion, I don't know if I want to give up prospects for a 35-year-old that is going to be a free agent next season. So I don't know. I don't like that. I don't like the sound of that. I know people might make the argument and say, oh, Hap is better than Hamels or whatever, but I personally like Hamels. I believe that he is the Verlander of last year. Any team that picks him up, he's just going to carry them into the playoffs and maybe the World Series. Cole Hamels is obviously not the caliber of pitcher of Verlander, but he is close to being there. Also, can Brandon Drury get some love? Just call him up already. The dude is just destroying uh, AAA. Just find a place for this dude already. I mean, if you're not going to utilize him, just trade him. I mean, if you ask me, he's suffering down there in the minor leagues because we all know that they're not treated the same way these major leaguers are treated with uh, the jet flying, limousine riding, woo, Ric Flair profiling kind of, you know, pampering. So I can almost feel for Brandon Jury uh, taking buses, you know, just downgrading his whole lifestyle. When he was used to, you know, being a major leaguer. So Yankees just find a place for Brandon Jury. I know Greg Bird is snapping out of it a little bit. Individuals like the Seminati source said, hey, does Greg Bird need more reps in the minors? And then the same day, I make a video and then Greg Bird hits home run and goes for like two for four. So these Yankees are iffy. They, they go on little tiny little hot streaks and then they fall off a little bit. But, like I said, give Brandon Jury a shot. He is killing AAA. Also, it has been rumored that the Yankees are also interested in Blake Snell from the Tampa Bay Rays. He is pitching to a 2.58 ERA in the Yellow East. And it seems that the Yankees are very interested in Snell, another left-handed pitcher. So if you ask me, my opinion, you give a prospects for a Blake Snell, not a J.A. Happ, James Anthony Happ. And folks, it seems like the Yankees are not that high on Sheffield if really he's not getting a shot. I, for one, liked what I saw from Jonathan Luizaga. I liked his first start better than Herman's. This guy, Jonathan, is just filthy, but I guess the Yankees want a left-handed pitcher. I mean, really, I would give Jonathan more reps than Herman. Jonathan is a flamethrower. He kind of looked like uh, Mariano Rivera to me. Identical. Anytime you could pitch 98 to 97 with your fastball and then just have a nasty breaking ball that just hits the dirt. I mean, Jonathan's just nasty. I'll love to keep seeing more of him. And I know what some people might say. They might say, oh, you like to start better than Herman. But Herman had a no hitter till the sixth inning. He literally pitched a no hitter and was taken out the game. But I liked Jonathan's start for the simple fact that he is fun to watch, a flamethrower. This is why I had an issue with the Yankees uh, trading away Caprillion because I like those young flamethrowers that just have nasty breaking balls and could turn it up to 98 to 100 miles per hour. So Jonathan Luizaga is fun to watch, and I can't wait to see him pitch again. In that first game, he proved that he could get out of jams, etc., change it up, and he did. So this is why I like uh, Luizaga better than Herman. So Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. I know I haven't posted in close to a week. I took time off due to the fact that YouTube is screwing content creators. If you create on YouTube, 
they'll take like uh, eight months to approve AdSense, etc. So really, I've just been messing around with m1news.com and make sure you visit that website because we will have a live chat on there for every Yankees game. And I know what people might be saying, oh, you're doing this for money. No, I'm doing this because I'm interested in it. But then it starts to feel like homework when YouTube says, oh, your application is going to be approved on this month. And then they just keep pushing it back. They've been delaying it since January. And now they're saying, oh, the end of June. So I don't know. So if it keeps doing that, I'm just going to have short clips on here. And then you're just going to have to click and go to NYY News to listen to NYY News. And I think the Salmonetti source is going to do that as well soon because we're getting screwed on here, folks. I'm not trying to sound like a crybaby, but YouTube is a multi-billion dollar corporation. And we are, as Yankees fans, bringing in hits for their platform. So Yankees fans, like always, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Do you like the idea of the Yankees going after J.A. Happ? Or do you like the idea of going after Snell of the Rays? What sounds better to you? Invest in a young arm or invest in a really a 35-year-old that really can deliver like a Snell but would be for a shorter period of time. So Yankees fans, like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you all next time.